Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this final video on the Gaussian mixtures, we'll look at the actual implementation in Python in scikit-learn. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and see how we can implement this. Here in Jupyter Notebook, I've imported these libraries and these are the versions that I'm using. We need the mixture library, uh, which is for the Gaussian mixture models. Uh, for data, we'll use the Iris dataset uh, because it's a simple dataset. So to get that, we can type x comma y is equal to datasets dot load underscore Iris. And here we can specify return underscore x underscore y is equal to true. And we can print the shape of x and the shape of y. So those are the records that we have. We can uh, plot this as well. So let's say x0 is equal to, uh, for plotting, what we are going to do is split this into uh, different sets. So x, where the values for the class is 0, uh, we set this to y is equal to 0 and we'll pick only the first two columns and not all the columns. Similarly, we'll repeat this for x1, x2, and this could be 1 and this could be 2. The reason why I've put 1, 0, 1, 2 for y is if you look at uh, the total types of labels for y, it's 0, 1, and 2. Now, I know that this is a labeled data set, but what we are going to do is we are going to ignore the labels when we are training on Gaussian mixture models, uh, but then use those labels to see how uh, how the clusters look after we perform the unsupervised learning on those models. And uh, we can so look at the shapes here print x0 dot shape x1 dot shape x2 dot shape and we have around 50 labels in each of those uh, columns and finally while we are at it we can print our sorry plot them so plt dot scatter uh, x0 and this is uh, where we are going to have one column on the x-axis and then the uh, second column on the y-axis and we'll specify the colors uh, because we uh, when we plot the results from the supervised unsupervised learning we would need to specify the same colors there so that we can easily compare the two so this would again be x0 this would be x1 this would be x2 and then if we can change this to let's say a green color and maybe an orange color and we can perform plt dot show so that's how the clusters are and let's see if the gaussian mixture models are able to find them so the very first one we'll try is gaussian mixture and this is without the bayesian thing so here we have gm is equal to mixture dot gaussian mixture and n will specify the n components is equal to 3 gm dot fit and this would be on just the all the records but then just the first two columns and we can put the predicted values in here in the y pred gm dot predict and these would now have cluster labels attached after the prediction is done. So we can use them for plotting 0 to 2. And we can print the set for, so let's call this C is equal to a list set of Y underscore pred. And then we can look at C. So we have three classes, 0, 1, and 2, after the fit was done on X. 
so here point to note is we do not have the y target in here in the fit method that we usually have for supervised case now let's uh, perform let's plot this so c0 i'm going to separate them out into different uh, uh different arrays c0 c1 c2 this would have label 0 and we go from 0 to 2 and i'm going to copy this paste it two times because this would be the class 1 this would be class 2 and then this would be 1 this would be 2 so those are the classes you can print c0 dot shape c1 dot shape and c2 dot shape and we have about uh, unequal about still 42 49 and 59 data points in each of those clusters you can now plot all of this so plt dot subplot and i'm going to create a subplot so we can easily compare uh, the original and the predicted side by side so figure is equal to plt dot figure fig size is equal to let's say 15 by 5 and we have subplot we just need one row uh, two columns and plot number one on the left hand side we'll put this original plot that we have above and then down below uh, sorry on the right hand side we can put the second plot one two comma two and there instead of c x we have c so let's change that uh, small c and change this here and this and this now point to remember is that these colors here may not exactly match what we have above so we can change that later plt.show and here we have these colors are missed so the blue should be green the green should be orange uh, the green should be orange no the orange should be green the green should be blue and the blue should be orange okay uh, this should be orange the green is good and this should be blue now we should okay so as we can see it was able to identify this blue cluster uh, accurately but there is overlap in this particular green and yellow cluster so it was able to identify these now here we are uh, the way we are plotting we are not plotting or coloring these based on the probabilities if we had we colored based on probabilities we would see part of these could be yellow and part of these could be green uh, especially in the area where there is overlap but here this looks like a, um, a hard margin uh, instead of a soft margin but we can get uh, predicted probabilities as well into the plot uh, next let's look at the bayesian approach of this so bayesian gaussian mixture and for this i'm going to copy on the same code down here for uh, model and for the plots so here all we need to do is add bayesian and for the number of components uh, i tried plotting without uh, this but that gave uh, wrong results so let's say if we remove this uh, we just get one component as we can see that's the zero so if we put 30 in there and uh, now we get three components i've uh, continued with just uh, three components and that that works just fine for this case so with the, those three components we can again go down here and perform the fit and as we can see 
the fit is not as good so the uh, overlap uh, area is not uh, found correctly and that's one of the reasons could be that these points are so close that uh, it could just be one cluster there now and this could be optimized um one uh, item that we can change here is the tolerance so if we set the tolerance to point 0.1 and run this again we see that we now can this in uh, find those clusters that are overlapping if you go furthermore maybe 0.2 and run this again so now we have most of these and that's similar to what we had earlier so these plots and these data points uh, that was it then for this video i hope in this video and previous series of videos on intuition you now have uh, some experience hands-on experience on how to implement gaussian mixture models uh, bayesian gaussian mixture models uh, on uh, at least third, third data sets uh, I'd encourage you to try this on uh, other data sets uh, with some complicated data structures and see how the parameters affect the results or the clustering. Uh, try to plot the predicted probabilities. We'll do all of that in one of the project videos. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.